Hi guys, namaste, welcome to the channel and in today's video, we're actually not doing a food carp video like we've done in the past two videos. Today, Emmanuel and I have decided to do a boys adventure and come to the Museum of Life and Science located here in Durham. Emmanuel came here before when he was I think three, four years old. So he doesn't remember much. Uh, this museum is unique because it has a lot of outdoor exhibits. So while we're trying to maintain social distancing from other people, trying to keep ourselves safe, especially for mommy and baby Iana, who turned two weeks today. So having a outdoor museum exhibit is perfect. So what all exhibits are there in this museum? Let's check out. So without wasting any further time, let's sail away. So quick update, unfortunately again my camera doesn't want to work in sunlight so I'm using the GoPro to do the recordings. A couple of things, you have to book your tickets online prior to coming to the museum. You're given a half an hour window to come in and so basically you enter the museum within those 30 minutes. Also you have to wear your mask, children above 5 year old are required to wear a mask we'll actually go here the farmland so the farmyard like what so i'm a cow yeah let's go see i'm a cow i'm a cow you might be a cow That is a miniature Hereford cattle. Dallas and Dusty are not babies, they're full grown adults. This smaller miniature size makes them about half the weight and height of a standard Hereford bull. It's a bull. They're, they're small bulls. Yeah, they're like miniature bulls. How much now? The cow is following COVID protocols. Like you all should be. The butterfly house. Alright, now we're gonna go to the butterfly house. I wanna see if the moth on the big fat moth comes on me again.
Look at that, look at that, it's moving. I think I see something. Look at that. I think I see something there. Come on, let's go. I think I see something. Look at that one too. Is it just praying mantis? Is it a praying mantis? Is it a praying mantis? Need a little board. Okay. I always want to buy one. Oh look, go on, they're like plants. They're like moving. They just look like plants. Hi, Pray Mantis. I wish I had a Pray Mantis pet. You want? I wish I had look, a... look at the camera and see. I wish I had a Pray Mantis pet. Yeah, Mommy's gonna give you one. Oh, look at this worm. Yeah, look at that. It's so big. It starts over there and then it goes all the way to up there that is one big oh no it's curled underneath oh wow that is amazing it's moving yeah look at here i think this is another kind of oh look it's a rhino beetle it's a male rhino beetle that is What's in this one? Bugs. Oh, look at those bugs. Oh, wow. I think they explain the life cycle of insects on this. Okay, look, see, there's a tiny bug. There's a tiny mm -hmm. bug. All right, to the next one. Come on. Magic boy Look at all these. Look at all these they are so beautiful. Oh, that's the one that I'm talking about. So what was the story with this butterfly? Can uh, you say? I forgot all of that. So, last time when Emmanuel came over here, they were, there was a similar butterfly that they were trying to heal and then they were trying to help. And uh, Emmanuel saw that butterfly and he was trying to help that butterfly, but he was also really hurt at the fact that the butterfly was hurt no, that, his, that his wings were damaged and it wasn't able to fly i think it was something with a bluish accent but again look at these butterflies what do you think Emmanuel? butterflies are the most amazing beautiful things right their wings yeah, and the colors I wish, I, I wish i didn't keep the butterfly no i think butterflies need to be out there happy roaming the world you know being colorful and merry that's how butterfly should be sweetheart okay. all right we're about to go to the butterfly observatory
All right, so we finally have our masks off. Emmanuel decided to put his back on. Uh, so for the rest of the video, we're gonna be doing something different. I've been using my GoPro to record uh, most of the stuff uh, so far, but the rest of the stuff that we have, I'm actually gonna use my Sony ZV-1, but I'm also gonna be using the inbuilt camera or the inbuilt microphone. Uh, because I've been using a shotgun microphone so far, so I just wanted to try and see what the inbuilt uh, mic with uh, the included, uh, I guess, dead cat uh, sounds like. So, one thing that I've noticed is that even though they try to regulate how many people come in, because you, you are only given a half an hour slot to enter into the park, there is no limit once you enter into the park. I guess there is an unspoken uh, expectation that you would finish your park visit within 2-3 hours but you can spend a whole day over here and there will be no way of them telling you to leave. Also social distancing is not a concept that is strictly enforced in the park. Yes uh, children above 5 are expected to wear masks. And for most parts, I've seen people wear masks and, you know, follow social distancing. But Emmanuel and I were just at the cafeteria trying to just order a drink. Like, we went into the cafeteria just to get a bottle of Powerade. And uh, we basically saw that even though on the floors they had those little stickers that, you know, I guess show six feet distance. Um, People were still coming close to me and Emmanuel and I didn't want to be rude so I moved Emmanuel to uh, the corner like we were trying to maintain social distancing we were trying to be awkward so that people understood that hey you know you guys are coming really close to us but again I guess some people are so lost in conversations that they forget that you know you still need to maintain social distancing as much as possible especially indoors so while we're here they have indoor exhibits and they have outdoor exhibits we will try and do only the outdoor exhibits i know emmanuel is a little bit bummed about that but seeing how people are not keeping that distance uh, we will be indoors for or sorry we will be outdoors for most of the stuff i see the dinosaur trail behind us we're going to be doing that. It is 12.53 p.m. 2 p.m. is our train ride. So our goal is to finish everything before that so we can do the train ride and then head, and then head home. So let's finish this up. Hopefully my camera can record stuff because I really love this camera. So yeah, let's continue.